Hey guys, Scott Gordon, Open Mortgage. Today I want to talk about generating mortgage leads, and I want to tell you a little story. Well, back in 1988, Phil Rich and I owned a company called Care Solutions, computer-aided real estate solutions. We sold turnkey computer monitor printer and software that I had written to do comparative market analysis. It was a great system and realtors loved it. But alas, they were too cheap to buy it. Well, that detail aside, it did give me 18 months experience working with realtors and I learned a lot about who was successful and who wasn't. One of the key things I noticed was Pareto's Law. You can look it up in Wikipedia. That's the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the business is done by 20% of the agents. I think the same thing is true in mortgage. Seems like a smart thing to do would be to go look at those successful people and model what they do. And you know what? It is a smart thing to do. Here's what I saw about those successful people. I noticed they all had a system and they worked it. Didn't matter if it was delivering donuts, if it was sending flyers, farming a particular neighborhood or neighborhoods, or meeting people in a certain way, going to PTA meetings, whatever system they had, they worked it religiously. And unlike most realtors who are very frugal, these successful realtors would spend the money to have an assistant. So if they tried to send out 500 postcards a week, well, they had an assistant and those postcards went out. They always worked it. So that is a big key right there. Have a system and work it. There's kind of a funny side note that I noticed as well. I saw realtors who would use a system for a little while and they would actually get business from it. They would get a little busier and because they were busier, they would stop working the system. And then they'd close, they'd sell those properties and their business would go down again. Now, instead of saying, hey, that system gave me some business, I should go do that again, oftentimes they would say, well, that system didn't work because it didn't keep me in properties in sales. But it really did work. They stopped working it. That was a key thing. The successful people don't stop working it. So I'm taping this on a Friday morning. Here's my Friday challenge to you. Can you tell me clearly what your system is? Do you have one? And are you working your system? We have Howard Whalen, executive coach, who would be happy to talk to any of you about your system, maybe with ideas how to tweak it up, tune it, make it more effective. We can help you work on your system. The other thing you need to do is work it, and I would say calendar it. I think that's a key thing. If you need to send out flyers or meet people, go on MLS tours, whatever it is, there should be a day and time of week, a time every day or certain days of the week, whatever your schedule is, it should be clearly written down in your schedule to help keep you on that path. So know your schedule and work it. I've seen that work for people in the past and I see it work today. If I look at our 10 biggest branches, I could go down the list and tell you for everyone what their system is and I know those people work it so it can work for you. And you know we wanna help, so if you need anything from corporate, contact us so we can give you a hand. By the way, please share this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed or forward it to your friends in the business. Let's do this thing together. Speak to you soon. And I want to tell you a little story about a man named Jed. He was a poor mountaineer, barely kept his family fed. No, wait, that's not the story. <laughs>